Okay, this is you're in for a treat, guys. This is really cool. Um, this is MIDI Grid. Um, it's a basically a pattern making tool, and it, it creates exactly as it says, creates evol create evolving patterns. It's free. Oh, awesome. Um, the it's it only tells you how to hook it up in Ableton, which is kind of like well okay if you have Ableton but of course I don't have Ableton I have FL Studio and I also have um, Studio One I'm gonna be hooking it up in Studio One today because uh, it is my door of choice anyways let's start it okay so I uh, at this point I've already loaded in uh, the ensemble into reactor um, and by the way, this is an ensemble. It goes into Reactor 6. I've tried it in Reactor 5, so before you waste your time, it does not work in Reactor 5. And also, I thought it was going to be an FX, you know, Reactor FX, but it is not. It is a Reactor um, instrument, and that's the way it's supposed to be used. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into, um, so what I did so far, I, I got my, I went to the instruments panel, I took in reactor six and I put it up here. Um, I'm going to put it the way I originally had it cause I kind of, uh, started before and just to try it out to make sure everything worked for you guys. So anyways, so I grabbed my reactor six, I, pl I put it into the um, instrument panel here, into the panel, and um, I also uh, got my FM8 and I put it over here, dragged and dropped it onto this panel area. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that it, nothing happens when you press play. That's okay. Um, uh, but but before I tell you this, um, I want to go into Reactor 6 so that you see what I did here. So the first thing you're going to have to do is make sure you uh, load this ensemble into your Reactor Ensembles folder. Um, then once you're here, I have a lot of ensembles as you can see. Um, some free, some, you know. And um, so what you're going to do is you want to grab Grid, which is this is the ensemble that it is. You pull it over here it comes up with this instrument uh, panel here and it comes up in the instrument panel and a uh, cool part about this thing is that they tell you that you're able to change the key and all that um, you know but he never showed you how to so I kind of figured it out so what you want to do is you want to go over here you press this you press you notice that it's going through different keys which is really really cool so originally it starts off with C Ionian but uh, I switched it over to Dorian but I'm gonna show you how I did that so I just hit this and so right there I just clicked and for some reason I have to click and drag to to change the the mode so I'm changing it into I'm not gonna use Lydian I wanted to use Dorian so you have to click and drag. I drag and drag up. Okay. And so, but for the key, you just need to click once. So I'm running through. So I'm going to use a Dorian. Uh, where's my go back? Okay. So I'm going to click and I switch to, to a Dorian, as you can see right here. Uh, very cool. So after that, I'm just going to X out. It's already done. And as I said, when you press play, it doesn't work. And the reason is that you have to go over to your instrument that you wanted to come out of, which is I wanted to come out of this FM8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here where it shows my keyboard, which is my Oxygen 61. I'm gonna switch it to Reactor. And you can see it changed here. And then once that happens, uh, also make sure you have uh, have this so that you can hear the monitor you put it to monitor you see as I click over that uh, you don't need to record but you do need the monitor so I'm gonna press play now and everything should work there it goes all right so that's what happened and now it's working